Hi everyone, it's Katrina. From bacteria that resist radiation to bacteria that hold the key to defeating the fearless mosquito, here are 10 of the coolest bacteria with incredible superpowers. Number 10. Bacteria-filled sea blob. There are a lot of strange things floating around in the sea, but you probably don't expect to encounter a giant ball of mucus. Enormous sheets of mucus blobs in the Mediterranean are spreading, and they are actually dangerous. Bacteria floating around in the ocean have the superpower of collecting into large globs described as jello-like sheets of disease-carrying mucus. Another way to describe it is sea snot that starts to form when marine snow coagulates into large globs, creating massive blobs of stinky, slimy mucus-like gunk that has been known to soak swimmers in bacteria-infested goo. Lovely. Get the picture yet? What is marine snow? It's the constant organic material falling from the upper layers of the water down to organisms living deep below. Normally, nothing bad happens, like dust in the air, but this microscopic dead and living organic matter begins to rot, and the problem is getting worse as the waters get warmer. Things begin as small as flakes of skin or pieces of fish poo, then grow like snowballs. By the time the bacteria blob has become noticeable, it is big enough to absorb full-sized animals. They grow larger and larger over time. These gelatinous brownish blobs of bacteria and gunk have been recorded at a shocking 124 miles in length. These things are not just annoying, but they are actually a health hazard to humans and marine life. These bacteria-ridden slime blobs are so dangerous that if a swimmer gets too near, they can develop dermatitis and other skin conditions. These blobs are seriously dangerous, and they're hungry! Inside the marine snow are viruses, bacteria, nasty stuff like E. coli, plus the husks of the super-powered bacteria's victims. Diver and author of this study on marine snow, Serena Fonda Umani, says that she swam through a blob, describing the texture as like some sort of sugar solution. She said it was a nightmare. She couldn't get the greenish slime off of her wetsuit. Be careful when you're out swimming that you don't run into a sea blob. As if you didn't have enough to worry about in the ocean. Number 9. Electric Bacteria While being able to generate electricity is not the most popular or sought-after superpower, it is still a pretty cool power. Who wouldn't want to burst light bulbs and shock strangers on the bus like some sort of electric eel? Although, now that I think of it, there would probably be some downsides to having a constant electric charge. Say goodbye to smartphones or video games, you'd fry all the circuits. Did you know that there is a bacteria that has this exact superpower? Well, there are tons of different electrogenic bacteria, including some located inside the human body. But this guy is special. The bacterium's name is S. onidensis. Incredibly enough, rather than breathing oxygen like most living organisms, this electric fiend breathes iron, lead, and other metal molecules. And that's not all. To stay alive, the bacteria must be attached to a type of metal, and they do this by throwing out very tiny nanowires like umbilical cords. They then either transfer electrons from their bodies to the metal molecules, thereby keeping themselves alive through a constant exchange of electrons, or they suck electrons out of the metal molecules. Either way, these electric bacteria feed and produce electrons, which means they feed and produce electricity. Pretty weird, right? Number 8. Body Snatching Bacteria You remember Invasion of the Body Snatchers, right? Aliens that come down to Earth and slime their way into the bodies of all us measly humans. There is a very peculiar type of bacteria by the name of Photor habdus luminescens that have a very similar trick. Or rather, they have a vicious superpower. The bacteria work with a very small worm named a nematode to infect, destroy, and then feast upon poor, unsuspecting insects from the inside out. First, the worm sneaks into the bloodstream of the insect, where it literally spits P. luminescence into the insect's blood. The bacteria then spit out toxins to kill the insect. Rude, right? Both of them. Just rude. The bacteria continue to spew out enzymes to liquefy the insect and antibiotics that stop other microbial organisms from stealing their feast. Both the bacteria and the worm reproduce while inside the dead insect's body. And what happens next is like a scene from Alien. The newly born worms burst out of the dead insect and they go on their merry way. 
While this isn't a superpower fit for a human, it is definitely handy for a group of savage bacteria, and even more useful for the brutal worm that wants to reproduce using the corpses of insects. Number 7. Radioactive Resistant Bacteria There are two popular fictional characters who have a superhuman resistance to radiation. I'm talking, of course, about the Incredible Hulk and Godzilla. And while this superhuman power isn't as glamorous as super strength or laser eyes, it is certainly handy in the eventuality of a nuclear fallout. Who will be left at the end of the world? Cockroaches and Godzilla. Oh yeah, and some incredible bacteria named Deinococcus radiodurans. D. radiodurans is in fact the most radiation-resistant life form on planet Earth. But these incredible organisms are not only able to resist radiation, they can withstand over 3,000 times the amount of radiation that would swiftly kill a human being. When radiation attacks, it typically rips apart the DNA of everything in its path. With D-radiodurans, they actually stitch their DNA back together. You could call these bacteria the wolverines of the microscopic world. They keep copies of their genome handy for just such an incident and are able to rapidly repair their broken DNA. Interestingly enough, scientists theorize that the bacteria come from space, where the levels of cosmic radiation are extremely high. However, this theory has not been proven. And now for number 6. But first, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and let me know what type of superpower you wish you could have if you were a bacteria. Number 6. Symbiotic Luminescent Bacteria What's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of a symbiote or a symbiotic relationship? Is it Venom and Eddie Brock, the symbiote from space that turned the mild-mannered reporter into Spider-Man's arch-nemesis? No? Just me? Or did you think about the relationship between the Hawaiian bobtail squid and the bacteria known as Vibrio fiscari? Vibrio fiscari are unique luminescent bacteria which hold a parasitic relationship with the adorable bobtail squid. Think of them like the weird bottom feeders who cling onto sharks and eat all the gross crud that gets stuck to them. It is a mutually beneficial relationship. While the bobtail squid enjoys the bacteria's powerful luminescent capabilities and how they strengthen its internal light organ, yes, this squid has a literal light organ, essentially blending the squid into its environment and keeping it safe from predators. The bacteria are happy to colonize and live peacefully inside of the squid's body. Gross, I guess, but cool at the same time. We have all kinds of bacteria living inside us that help us. Think of it like if you had a crew of bacteria living in your muscles that made you super strong. The squid has a team of bacteria making it super stealthy. It's just one of those near supernatural relationships between animal and bacteria. Number 5. The Magnet Bacteria There are some very amazing bacteria out there in the world that can actually detect the Earth's magnetic field. Sounds pretty useless, right? I mean, imagine always knowing which way is north. Doesn't seem so great, but it's actually amazing. All kinds of animals are aware of it all the time, and sometimes even us, although we don't even realize it. It works well for the magnetotactic bacteria since they use their power to locate food. Additionally, they are able to use their magnetic ability, which comes from the iron oxide molecules stored inside their microscopic bodies, to propel themselves through dense sediment as if equipped with booster rockets. That seems fun! So how does it work? Just like how two positive magnets will always push each other apart. The bacteria use their stored magnetism to propel in a certain direction. Pretty advanced stuff. Just imagine if you could use a magnetic charge inside yourself to hover above the streets, repelling off the Earth's own magnetic field. Maybe that's the technology of the future. Number 4. Superglue Bacteria Let me introduce you to the bacteria called Calobacter crescentis. This is undoubtedly the strongest, most resilient, and most super sticky bacteria. In the animal kingdom, geckos have a notorious reputation as being the stickiest. But in the microbial world, C. crescentis rules supreme. This bacterium is so sticky that it has an adhesive power seven times more intense than a gecko, and, according to me, roughly three times more than Spider-Man. But seriously, it's even four times stronger than super glue. When the bacteria find a place to live, they bring a whole new meaning to the term clinger. The bacteria latch onto their new living space and secrete one of the strongest sticky adhesives known to man. I'm talking about an adhesive that can withstand 5 tons per square inch. That means that a single splotch of bacteria could potentially lift a fully grown African elephant off the ground without breaking a sweat. 
If that's not a super powered bacteria, I don't know what is. I dread the day you can buy a bottle of super glue bacteria at the department store. Think of the chaos. Number three, super sized bacteria. Gigantism is one heck of a superpower. Personally, I'm not sure that I would have much fun growing 10 times my original size. It would be crazy squishing people by accident, falling onto people's houses, wreaking all kinds of havoc. It's definitely not a superpower for me. In the microbial world, there is one bacterium which reigns supreme as giant of giants. The bacterium is called Phyo margarita namibiensis, named apparently after Namibian margaritas. The bacteria are found primarily in sediments off the coast of Namibia, and while you wouldn't think of them as giants when looking under a microscope, they look more like a train of glowing white orbs, like a kind of sectional worm. But these bacteria are huge. How huge? Well, a normal bacterium like E. coli is about 2 micrometers. The T. namibiensis is about to 750 micrometers. This is hard to swallow. The simple scale of such a giant is unfeasible. Imagine a 2-foot tall dog. Cute, right? Now imagine a dog that stands 750 feet tall. It's unthinkable. We can only hope scientists don't find a way to weaponize these supersized bacteria. Number 2. Spaceman Bacteria This is a superpower mankind is in desperate need of if we want to colonize space. How about being able to survive the harsh, no oxygen, no sound, lifeless vacuum of the dark and frozen wasteland we call the universe? I'd say that's a pretty good superpower for any organism. And guess what? It's real! My good friend, and likely a good friend to all of us, Gloeocapsa magma, lived for over a year on the hull of the International Space Station. That is no easy feat. Just like on Earth, it turns out there is a little population of bacteria and fungi living on the space station. Of course, most of the bacteria is associated with humans. Russian scientists took samples from the hull of the ISS with cotton swabs during a spacewalk and found a variety of space travelers. You might be familiar with good old G magma as the annoying patches of black that show up on your roof tiles, spurned to existence due to the high humidity and abundance of moisture stored in your shingles. While the bacteria are an expensive burden to homeowners, they could be extremely useful in future space exploration since they obviously don't die out there. In fact, I'm sure SpaceX is working on taking it to Mars right now. Number 1. Disease Preventing Bacteria there are a lot of bacteria used to help heal the world. There are also a lot of bacteria that are set on destroying the world. Just think of antibiotics, which are chemical solutions designed to either kill or stop the spread of harmful bacteria inside your body. Yet at the same time, you have natural bacteria within you that fight off diseases and sickness. Get what I'm saying? Bacteria giveth and bacteria taketh away. And now comes the number one underdog bacteria, Wolbachia. The bacteria's superpower is not so glamorous as being giant or electrified, but it does have the potential to save millions of lives. Wolbachia is a naturally occurring bacterium found commonly in many different insect species. Its power is extinction and pest control, particularly against the mosquito. Scientific American reports that scientists are trying to battle the mosquito Aedes aegypti by infecting mosquitoes in the lab and then releasing them into the wild to prevent the spread of dengue. Zika, yellow fever, and more. The bacterium is injected into the mosquito and lives inside the insect cells. It is then passed on maternally from mother insect to her egg brood. Because of this, the bacteria see no need to have males in the insect population. Wolbachia has been known to decimate entire male populations in certain species of insect by changing males into females during gestation. How incredible is that? So how will this save lives? Well, because of the bacteria's influence inside the insect eggs. The bacteria have the ability to prevent mosquito eggs from ever hatching, to shorten the lifespan of an insect, and to dramatically reduce the spread of disease by making it harder for viruses to reproduce. Considering the amount of illness and death caused by the mosquito, this could be the super-powered bacteria that literally saves millions upon millions of lives by defeating the villainous scourge that we call the mosquito. Thanks for watching! Which of these super powered bacteria wowed you the most? Let me know in the comments below! See you next time for another amazing video! Bye!